good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have some brand new wwe action figure news for you guys coming from our man action figure attack he is a marketing manager at mattel for wwe action figures and he did a q a over on his instagram where he answered a bunch of questions regarding you know new info and new leaks and new stuff teases coming for our wwe figures coming in to 2020 on into 2021 so if you guys want to go give him a follow i definitely recommend recommend it. Action Figure Attack over on Instagram. Definitely go give him a follow for more Q&As in the future and stuff. But we're going to cover all that. But without my boy Unstable1047, huge shout out to you, bro. I would not have had these screenshots. I planned on doing this video, but I didn't ever screenshot the Q&A. So I did miss it. So huge shout out to him. If he would have never screenshotted them, we would be missing out on this information and this video. So huge shout out to Christian for that. And we are going to dive right in, guys. Action Figure Attack on Instagram. But let's start it off with the First question, guys, it says here, are we getting an online SDCC panel? This is obviously because San Diego Comic-Con was canceled, so this person asked this because they know that we are not getting San Diego Comic-Con, but will they still have the panel? And Steve says that we will make sure to still bring you reveals and excitement around SDCC time. This means, to me, him answering this way means that uh, I don't think we're going to get any, uh, any you know, panels or anything like that. You know, usually they bring on a superstar, they'll answer questions. Questions. They'll show off new ta or new products that they're going to get, like the render images on the screen. And I'm guessing that it's going to probably just be posted to WWE.com. They may do a live stream or something with Bill. Who the hell knows? I guess we'll just have to figure it out. But I'm sure we're going to get the new reveals. It'll just be over the internet, obviously. Our next question, guys, is will we be floored by someone getting a figure soon? Thanks. And he says, yes, I think that's a strong possibility. Now, with the reveal of The Fiend, with the reveal of Hulk Hogan and the reveal of everything like that, this is kind of uh, just a big question mark. I really can't think of anybody that would be big like this. Now, there are some names that could come to mind, but I don't think it's going to be them. The first thing that comes to mind is the Viking Raiders, possibly. But in this Q&A, actually, he even answers the this where somebody else asked will we see the Viking Raiders revealed this year and he says you'll have to wait and see this could be the you know the figure that he's talking about this could be the big thing that he's talking about when talking about will we be floored now floored is a big word you know that's like floored like holy crap how the hell did they make that person so that's what I guess when they say floored so it may not be the Viking Raiders but uh, you know I, I have no idea let me know down in the comment section below who you think it would be it's obviously not going to be like Chris Benoit it's not going to be somebody like that. It will have to be somebody that is under a Legends deal that, uh, you know, we know about. And uh, I, I can't, I cannot figure that out. I have no idea who this could possibly be. If you guys have any good ideas down in the comment section below, for sure let me know. But of course, Viking Raiders, again, this question that we just answered again, they did ask, again, they said, will we see the Viking Raiders revealed this year? Because we know it's been forever. It's been so, we've covered it so many times on the channel, you know, when are we going to get the Viking Raiders in elite form or even basics or anything we've never even seen a render of these guys and he does say you'll have to wait and see so that does make me think that we are finally going to get viking raiders but of course we will have to wait and see nothing is confirmed just of yet so we'll have to see about that but i'm excited for viking raiders i'm also excited for a talent that we will be floored by or he says that there's a strong possibility that we will be floored by a uh, you know someone getting a figure soon so we'll just have to see about that the next question for Steve, guys, was any updated NXT UK titles or other titles that we might be looking forward to? And he says new titles are coming. Now, this could be anything. You can see the big list of titles in the background. I mean, this could be so many different things. You have the NXT championships that we have not gotten. You have the women's tag team championships. You have the Blue Universal Championship. I mean, there are a lot of titles that we could see that we have not just gotten yet from Mattel. Obviously, we could get the new Intercontinental Championship. I mean, there's a lot of titles here, so this is kind of a vague answer where we really don't know, but I am guessing that, you know, that is good news that we know that new titles are coming. We just don't know which exact ones are coming. The next question we got is more Build-A-Figure superstars in the making. And of course, he does say you'll see a new Build-A-Figure in the next wave of WrestleMania elites. If you guys did not know, this was confirmed by Bill McKenna in a Q&A from Mattel that every year the WrestleMania elites will be a Build-A-Figure. Now, it's unknown again who this will be. We don't know if we're going to get, you know, another authority figure. We don't know if we're going to get, you know, there's so many different guys that they can make. It's kind of ridiculous. So uh, we'll just have to see if we get another, you know, referee. I'm not sure 
exactly what referee we would get, especially since, you know, all the big time names aren't really with the company anymore besides maybe Lil Nate. So we'll just have to see about that. Maybe we'll get a Lil Nate referee figure or something like that. But we do know that the build a figure figures are coming back and it will be in the WrestleMania Elite line. The next question, guys, is about the Hollywood Hogan Ultimate Edition. It says, any more updates on the release date of Hollywood Hogan Ultimate Edition, please? And he says, ringside should have him available in time for the holidays. Obviously, this is around the end of the year, maybe late November, Christmas time in December, and that is big news. I would love to unbox a damn Hollywood Hulk Hogan on Christmas Day if you get what I'm saying, so that would be really excellent for me. I would love to see that. I'll probably grab a couple of these because... Uh, um, you know, not the, not a huge Hulk Hogan guy, but uh, I've always wanted a Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I would love to fit him in there as one of the only Mattel Hulk Hogans I get, and I would love to put him up there. That would be absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait for this figure, man. The details are outstanding. Everybody knows, but now you guys can look forward to the end of 2020, right before Christmas. Maybe you'll be able to unbox this thing Christmas morning. Hollywood Hulk Hogan right there, Ultimate Edition coming at the end of 2020. Our next question is regarding the Decades of Domination Walmart exclusive line, guys. It says, will we have more series of Decade of Domination figures with more women, maybe? And he says, just two waves, 10 figures celebra celebrating 10 years of the line. So that is exactly what we got right there. It is not going to be any more, any less. It will be 10 figures to represent, you know, a decade. Decade is 10 years, and they're going to have 10 figures to solidify that 10, and that is okay with me. You know, I would have liked to have seen a Nikki from Dolph. Ziggler in there, but you know it is all good. I like all the figures in this wave. I think it is a strong wave, and I'm actually really looking forward to finding these figures on our toy hunts and stuff like that for the Decade of Domination figures. They look great. I'm excited for them, and I can't wait to pick them up at Walmart. We have a question regarding the new ringside exclusive 3-in-1 Edge Heads figure, guys. It says, what's going to happen with the Edge Heads Elite since Matt and Brian were released? Obviously, Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins released from WWE, and he says they're still coming as scheduled, and we did talk about this a little bit in a video. We talked about, you know, what the, you know, the subject matter on this is and what will come of that 3-in-1 exclusive, and it looks like they're not going to run into any problems. Now, I don't know how that's possible. I don't know what the whole deal is. Again, I said when this, you know, we, when when Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins got released, maybe they could have some sort of control over it because it's their faces and everything like that, so they can say, yeah, that's fine, or, or whatever. I don't know what the deal is with that, but it is still coming, as you guys can see here, which is great news because I'm really excited for this figure, and it sucks, though. You're going to have to buy three of them to get all three of them on the shelf, but you know it is what it is. Sometimes you got to do that, so we will see what happens with that, but apparently they are coming as scheduled, and I am hyped. Next up, guys, somebody did ask, are any ECW or WCW legends in any works? And it says, oh yeah, for sure, is his response. And then in parentheses, it says, talent pictured are not hints, LOL. So you have a bunch of stuff right here. You got a lot of stuff going on. You got all these different legends. And I would assume that it would be WCW. I don't, I don't see us getting any ECW legends. If we did, that would be absolutely fantastic. But if I had to guess, it would be WCW legends, as we've seen in the past. And that is what I would guess this is going to be and that could be anybody I mean there's so many that it could be that it's kind of hard to pinpoint but he did say this that they are you know some more are coming Next, guys, we have a question regarding Hulk Hogan. It says, are more Hogan figures such as canceled ones a possibility? And he says, we have more planned, so many possibilities. Now, this means that I think they are going to go after the figures that they had originally planned. You know, think about it. If you had a job to create Hogan figures and you wanted to create these specific ones, then they got canceled. Wouldn't the first thing on your mind be, as soon as you get the rights back, we got to go back and make those figures that we missed out on? That is what I'm guessing right here. So Hulk Hogan, expect a slew of Hulk Hogan's coming very soon. I would imagine that we're going to get them like John Cena's, man. They're going to be popping up like nothing, and I'm excited for that, actually. I kind of am, just to see it. You know, it's been so long since we've gotten some Hulk Hogan, so I'm actually excited to see what we get with Hulk Hogan, what attires, what moments, stuff like that. But first of all, we need that Hollywood Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition first, then I think anybody will be satisfied with anything after that, especially the big-time Hogan fans. Alright guys, so this next one is kind of a trick question because it does say any hints as to what era the next China figure will be from and he says Attitude Era with like a funny emoji and obviously Attitude Era is the only era of China we will get. I think this person meant, you know, what attire or what time of her career it would be and my guess, which would be really sick, would be a WrestleMania 17 China, which I would guess since we got it in Jack's form and stuff, I think it would be a really good release to see a WrestleMania 17 version of China, which I will plug in the video. 
so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I think that would be heavily, heavily requested from people. Since we're getting our two pack elite, you know, with Triple H, I think that a WrestleMania 17 version of China would be highly received from the community. So that is the one I would choose. Let me know what China you would like to see from Mattel in the future. Next, guys, somebody asked, any former female talent that would be a first time in the line in the works? And he says yes, just simply yes. Now, we do know we're getting a first time in the line, Rhea Ripley Elite. Now, we do know he says that it's going to be a former female talent that would be a first time in the line. Now, does this mean, I, I mean, I have no idea. This could be a Tori Wilson. This could be a Molly Holly. This could be a bunch of people. I mean, this could be a lot of stuff going on with this. As my boy Christian mentioned in his video, there's so many different female talents that we have not gotten especially former female talents and being a first time in the line we are missing a lot of women from that time so a Tori Wilson would be fantastic I would love to see that get put out by Mattel and see how they do that for their figures and uh, there's so many talents that I would love to see for a first time in the line for Mattel as we know and uh, I, I would be hyped to see who they would choose so hopefully when they do reveal this we do enjoy it and it is a great release. The next question, guys, is will Mattel make a Jeff Jarrett figure? And he says if Double J becomes available to us, we will get to work on figs as soon as possible. So Jeff Jarrett is one of those guys that the community has wanted for a very long time. And, you know, it says here in Mattel, I've heard Bill say it. I've said people that work at Mattel say it. And they say that as soon as Jeff Jarrett is available, he will be made, like, immediately. So you don't ever have to worry about that. If he's ever needed to be made or they have a, ch a chance to make him, they're going to pump him out, guys. It's just the way it is. So that is good to know that you know Jeff Jarrett is a priority for them and getting him pumped out is important to them for you know them to make. Next question is are the Legends and Decade figures pre-order only or will they be available in store as well? And he says that they will not only be available online and but they will also be available in store. Obviously, they're going to be available in store, but it is cool to know that you can get the Decade of Dominance figures from Walmart online and the Legends from Target, and I think they're still up for pre-order, guys. If you guys want to go pre-order Series 7 of the pre-orders, you can go check that out. And we did find out the other day that the Sting figure is actually canceled. So the Sting figure from Legends Series 7 will be canceled, and it apparently looks like Sting may have signed with AEW, which is really big news, and they can no longer make him so our new sting figure coming out will no longer be coming which is very very sad but uh you know it is what it is maybe we can get an aew figure now and we'll just have to see about that but the sting figure will be on hiatus for now until he signs back with wwe whenever that time is but our next question will be will the new legends line be released twice a year or more often during the year and th he says Two waves this year since it launches mid-year, and then four waves planned for 2021. Obviously, I just said Series 7 is already up for pre-order on Target, so that's supposed to be hitting relatively soon, I would guess. And then, of course, at the end of the year, or in the fall time, we are going to get another, I think, Series 8 is coming in the fall. And then next year for 2021, apparently all four waves are planned for every single part of the year so early 2021 you know mid to uh or early to mid 2021 and then mid to late and then late 2021 so four different waves next year for the legends which is going to be awesome to go to target and check out all those legends figures up on the shelf i'm hyped for that that is absolutely beautiful and i think this is our last question or second to last question we have will they start at wave line one or skip a few i just want to know when eddie will be out and he kind of just skipped straight to the answer and he says wave eight will feature Eddie Guerrero and it will be arriving this fall so Eddie Guerrero will be out this fall that is very big news I'm excited for that and he will be available in the fall so I'm guessing that series 7 should be hitting in the summertime is what I'm guessing and then series 8 would be hitting in the fall and that would be absolutely beautiful so that is great news right there Eddie Guerrero coming this fall I'm hyped for that and I think this is our last question it says who do you think will be next in the WWE Legends lineups this year and he says here's the lineup for the final 2020 wave of legends more to come in 2021 so jake the snake eddie guerrero ultimate warrior and paul orndorf will be the four legends in wwe legends lineup 2020 in the fall so series eight will be jake the snake eddie guerrero ultimate warrior and paul orndorf for this little in series of 2020 coming in the fall for series number eight of the wwe legend series but anyways guys that is going to do it for the q a from action figure attack thank you guys so very much for watching definitely go give him a follow and my boy Unstable1047. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of all of this news down in the comment section below. What are you most hyped for coming this year? Let me know all of the good stuff down in the comment section. I'm getting the hell out of here. I mean, a ton of stuff 
talked about here and you know stuff coming this year stuff coming early next year i'm hyped for it and when we get new reveals when we get everything i will definitely put it up to you guys i'm hyped for san diego comic-con or you know the stuff that was supposed to be revealed at san diego comic-con should be in a couple months and i will definitely be revealing that as well and we'll cover all of that here on the channel when we get some new reveals but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter my name toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you